In this section, we will learn about general settings of this app. Go to Settings. Click General Settings tab. The first one is Export On. This means when the data should start exporting. There are three options. On Export button, on Print and on Scan. Exporting on Export button option is recommended, it means start exporting data when I click Export button. If this option is selected then you will see Export button. Else there will be no Export button. Exporting on print means if you have enabled label printer option which is mainly used in medical labs, due to long queues you want to make the process quicker, and also there is no custom data required. So you can set it to export just after printing the labels. Exporting on scan option means if there is any scenario where you want to export data as soon you scan the card. This is less recommended option. The second setting is date format. You can set any format. To learn about date formatting, click help link next to it. Let's make the month three characters. Save and close. Read card. Notice month part and issue underscore date and expiry underscore date fields. Go to settings again. General Settings tab. Now change it to full month name. Now test again. Yeah, it is showing full month name now. Go to General Settings again. The next setting is related to Emirates ID number format. This one. Maybe in some cases you will need with hyphens, while in other cases without hyphens. Let's make it hyphenated. Save and close the settings to test it. Click Read Card. Yes, Emirates ID number is hyphenated now. Let's go to General Settings again. The next setting is to show or hide the picture. Currently Yes is selected. Let me drag the settings form to a bit right side so that we can see picture. Now change it to No. Save it. The picture is disappeared and that space is covered by Emirates ID fields because the design is responsive. Go to Settings again. The next setting is to enable or disable if we want to save the image file. If we are enabling it, then we also have to specify a path where to save the images. Click Browse button to specify a folder path. It will be saving picture right after scanning the card. It will be naming the picture same as Emirates ID number in JPG format. It will be saving the picture even if we have make its visibility hidden in application. Save it and close the setting form. Notice currently we are not showing the picture in application. Click Read Card button. Card is scanned. Let's go to Folder if Picture File is saved. Yes it is there. Let's delete it and test again. This time we will make the picture visible in application. Go to General Settings. Make the picture visible in application. Save and close the settings. Read card again. Let's see the folder again. Yes, the image is saved again. Now let's go to general settings again. Next setting is if we want to enable copy data from text boxes when we double click on it. This will be handy and quicker if we want to copy paste this data in some other application manually. Let's enable it. Save and close. Let's double click on mobile number. And right click here, paste. 
Double-click Arabic name. Remove old text. Right-click, paste. Double-click English name. Remove old text. Right-click. Paste. Go to General Settings again. The next setting is if we want to enable default Emirates ID values on export. Let me explain this. We can choose Emirates ID fields to show or hide, let's say we are not showing passport number, but in fields to export settings, we have chosen passport number field to be exported. If this setting is enabled, it will export passport number value scanned from Emirates ID even that is not visible. Or visible, but you made it empty. We recommend to keep it checked. The next in general settings is to change header background and text color. First one is background color. Let's choose red. And for text color, choose white. You can try different colors and choose the one you like. It is reflecting instantly here on this form. But on main form it will be applied after saving settings and also restarting application.